live fleets to try out. We'll see if those things work any different. Absolutely beautiful. Good morning, good morning. It is our first cold front. You can't tell from here, or maybe you can if you know what the ocean looks like. That looks like a cold ocean. We had our first cold front. It actually got down, I think, into the 40s. Uh, it's pretty chilly right now. I don't know what the temperature is. I got one rod set up down there. We're going pompano fishing. Hopefully these fish will start moving in. If you saw my last surf fishing video, we caught a lot of fish, but we didn't get what we were really after. Today we were hoping that with this cold front, uh, some of the pompano pushed a little further down. I got some rigs that I tied up yesterday. I'm gonna go ahead and put a couple more rigs on these two. And then I'm gonna get all three, I wanna get all three rods set up. We get them all out there at the same time or right around the same time. And then we'll be fishing. So I'm gonna put the camera down, tie some of this stuff up, and hopefully it goes better today. So these are my pompano rigs. I don't sell them, I just make them if you guys wanna make pompano rigs. Definitely saves time, even though I haven't really found a perfect way of wrapping them up in the bag. It's still way faster than tying them all on the beach. And then I just have like a little mixture of different floats that I've collected at tackle shops. And I use a three hook rig. My hook on there is a little 1-0 owner, or I also like the 1-0 uh, VMCs. Uh, but these are owners, and it's a 30 pound fluorocarbon today on the leader line. So I'm gonna get this thing untangled, tie it up on this one, and then we'll start setting everything up. While we're tying this one up, we'll go over the gear. So the rods and reels we're using today are all made by Tsunami, and the reel is, it's my go-to surf setup. It's a 6,000 Shield, which is a really r relatively fairly inexpensive reel, I would say, right around 120 bucks. The rod is the Tsunami Trophy Series. It's the 12 foot, 12 foot, what do we got? heavy action three to eight ounce and then i got the lip rig i just went over and then here i got some of my blanche fleas and along with some four ounce pyramid sinkers i like using the four ounce it helps hold it in the heavier current but then really if you're not next to the rod and a fish hits it that pyramid sinker is going to be enough weight to set the hook for you we got these little 1-0 circle hooks super sharp and that uh lead does a good job of setting that hook in there so these are those blanched sand fleas I'm always talking about. We're gonna go ahead and get them thawing out in some water. And I decided to call an audible here kind of. Before I set up all three rods, I don't know if there's a bunch of seaweed on the bottom. I don't know what the deal is today. So I'm gonna go ahead, get these two rods out first, and then uh, we'll see if we're gonna go ahead and get the third out there. All right, so this one, Three sand fleas. Make sure the drag's tight enough to cast. So that's gonna be a short rod. We're not putting that one out far, just past the trough. Look for some big old whiting. Back up, whacked. Feels like it's coming at me. All right, we're gonna go easy with them in the shore break. Nice, still there. So now, so now, see what we got. Coming on in. It's a nice whiting. A <laughs> nice whiting. Oh yeah. That is what we're looking for. Well, we're looking for a pompano. But I will gladly take a stud full whiting. So not our pompano. But very nice consolation prize. A nice whiting. These things taste good. We'll be inviting him home. Kind of look like a bonefish. Streamlined, real, real nice solid fish. And that was real close in. So I think we're gonna abandon the far out pompano style fishing. We're gonna see if we can get a couple whitings to bring home. Very close in. 
All right, we got another another hit right here. We may have found them, guys. They may just be real close in. Gonna go easy with them. That shore break sucks so hard, meaning like it's pulling so hard that it makes a little half pound or one pound fish weigh a whole lot more. All right, feel them shaking right there. Another nice whiting. It's a really simple lob cast, not far at all. This thing just got hit so hard. I think we found the right one here, guys. I think we hooked up on the pomp. We're just gonna keep walking down the beach sideways. It got slammed. Come on, Pompano! Now he's zigging back that way, zigzagging. Just like those Pompanos like to do. Come on, first chance of gold, let's see it. Saw, but I couldn't tell what it was. Oh, it's a permit. It's a little permit. Come on, come on, settle down. Woohoo! There we go. Dinner, son. It does not get any better than that. That is a perfect eaten size permit right there. I am pumped. Real close in, you hit the top one with the float, pink float. Look at that permit. Absolutely beautiful. So I had very low expectations for today. I still only have the two rods out there. I got two keeper whiting and then I had the surprise of a permit. I still have not caught a keeper pompano yet this season. And I got a nice permit. That's awesome. I'm stoked with that. It's a good, perfect eating size permit. These things are super good. I keep looking at these rods over my shoulders. We just got them back out. Um, I'm gonna stay down here for a little bit longer, not too long. And then we'll go up and take care of the fish we got because we got a permit. I'm stoked. And we got it on video. I don't think I've gotten permits on video for you guys before on the beach. But uh, I did spot some live sand fleas down there too. So I think I'm gonna grab a couple of them and try that before I leave. And then uh, we'll see what's happening. So we got some sand fleas right down there. This is the technique I was taught when I was little. I don't got a rake with me. I'm just looking for enough to go fishing. So I'm gonna time it right as the water's going down and you're gonna spread your fingers apart real wide and go a nice deep thing and then you balance the sand on your wrists and then when you get up to the dry sand throw it like that so it slides and then you're left with picking out your sand fleas boom boom come back here four five there we go six look at that. so now we got us a couple live fleas to try out we'll see if those things work any different all right we gotta pull some sand fleas out of my pocket so now we're going to live fleas. They stay on the hook better than the blanched, for sure. But I actually usually do better with blanched fleas. I mean, we already got a permit, so that shows you they work. But let's get some live ones. I think we're gonna throw them out far. There we go, three fleas going out. Live fleas this time. That thing hit the water and I'm on instantly on before I even put it in the rod holder. Oh my God. Imagine if that's what it's like with these live fleas. For some reason, they just want that today. But it's coming in. Felt like a pretty solid hit too. It's not as big as that permit was. It's shaking hard, it's shaking like a palm. It's not really doing like the whiting shake. Here he is, going back and forth right there. He's fighting hard though, I don't know what it is. Oh, it's like a bluefish or something it looks like. That's why I hit right away. It's two fish. We got a bluefish and a pompano. Go down and check out our little pompano. That's a good pompano. Easily a keeper-sized pompano right there. Look at that. 
Adding a pompano to the mix. Then we also have this blue fish, but I'm gonna unhook him. Luckily he didn't cut my rig. I'm gonna unhook him and let him go. Because we got plenty of fish already. If I was shark fishing today, you'd be in trouble. But we're not. We're gonna try that again and then get some more live please. A nice lobbing cast out there, not far, not short. So I went ahead and bled all the fish. We got our permit. We got our pompano. And I bled the two whiting also because always makes the meat a little bit better. We're just gonna go get some new water because it's not really hot out, I don't have ice down here. I'm just gonna fish for a little longer, see what we can find. There we go, we got them back in some water. We'll just leave them there for a little bit. And fish up these last two rods. It's coming at me. Oh, we're tight on one, we're tight on one. All right, they might be coming through now, guys. They might be coming through. Woo! Coming at me and then pulling hard. This is gonna be a pump. This is gonna be a pump. It's coming in easy all the way to the shore break and then they start pulling hard. Oh yeah, definitely gonna be a pump. Run sideways like this for sure. Not like that sail cat. This is fighting way different. This one I would be putting money on as a pompano or a permit or palmetta, something of that nature. All right, settle down, buddy. Look at that pompano. Nice one. Nice one, nice one. Very nice pompano right there. Another keeper. That is shaping up to be a very nice bucket. We got us another stud whiting. Look at that thing. That is our biggest whiting of the day so far. God, that's like a little redfish. Look at that thing. Total stud of a whiting. There he is. He's on there. This is a heavy fish. Hey, we're getting some nice fish today. I'm pumped. This is so sick. First real surf fishing session of the year. Or of this side of the year. Yeah, he's going crazy now. This is gonna be a pompano. He doesn't want to come over the trough. He's like right at the trough right now. He's gonna go real easy. Yep, I see it right. Oh no, I think I just pulled him. No, he's still there. Here comes a little wave that might help us. Here we go, it helps us, it helps us, it's helping us. It's a nice pomp, I can see him. All right, let's let this wave do it. This wave will do it for us. Walk him back, walk him back, walk him back. Stud! Pompano. Holy crap, look at the size of that one. That is a solid one, very nice pompano. So we're fast forwarding a couple hours. We're back down on the beach, got all the fish and stuff put away, but I got my igloo here. And we're gonna go ahead and do some filleting. I got some ice in here, got the fish nice and cold, they're ready to be cleaned, I got the knife, got the bags, got everything. Uh, but we're gonna show you guys something because this time of year with surf fishing just kind of kicking off in uh, the central Florida area, there is going to be posts on all the Facebook groups, is this a permit or is this a pompano? And half the time it has a hundred posts long and it's a lot of it wrong, a lot of it's wrong. But we got both. So I'm gonna grab the camera off the tripod, show you a side-by-side -side comparison of a permit versus a pompano. That way you know exactly what the differences are and you can spot them. They both only have to be 11 inches long to keep, but Still, you want to know what you're catching. So let's uh, get one out of here and show it to you. All right, all right. So we got our permit here. That's easy, only one of them. And then we'll grab a pompano that's really about the same size. So let's go over a couple differences between these two fish. First off, that is a permit, that is a pompano. Uh, easiest way for me to tell the difference or something you can see from really far away is the shape of the fish. The permit is generally gonna be a rounder fish where the pompano is gonna be longer. Now the pompano can vary in, sh in uh, shape, so not always the best way to go by uh, telling the difference there. Also on the permit, it has uh, different fins, the black fin, black fin, black fins, and black fin uh, compared to the pompano, which has a much lighter colored fin. It'll be gray and yellows in the pompano where it's black and oranges in the permit. Also, the eyeball is a little different. You got a bigger, darker eyeball on the permit, 
Where with on the Pompano, it's a smaller, and then around the pupil is gonna be a much lighter color on the Pompano. So, quick little differences right there. Now we're gonna get to cleaning. So you saw how we filleted the permit, but then with the pompano, all we did was open it up, take out all the guts and the gills. And now that one is gonna go with the rest of our pompanos for some whole cookers. So no catch clean cook this time, just a catch clean and show off the delicious looking pompano. But we'll do a catch clean and cook for you here soon. This was just kind of a long video to start with. But we got a whole cooked pompano, scored it, we got salt on there, and it's stuffed full of peppers and garlic. And that is going, oh yeah, and uh, about 17 sticks of butter. Super good. Just comes right off there. Best way to do pompano. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. See you in the next video later.